If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll discuss and demonstrate managing and monitoring ICX switches with the Unleashed browser user interface. Beginning with Unleashed release 200.8, Unleashed administrators can monitor and manage ruckus ICX switches and routers in the ICX 7000 series and above. Unleashed can manage up to eight switches at a time. The ICX switch management allows you to monitor status, view usage statistics, and perform basic management operations, including configuration backup and firmware management. The following capabilities are supported. ICX switch registration and authentication, switch inventory, including model, firmware, version, and the last backup, health and performance monitoring, such as status, traffic stats, errors, clients, and alarms, switch configuration file backup and restore, and firmware upgrades. What are the requirements to manage ICX devices? The ICX switch must be running FastIron software version 8.0.90 or higher. The Unleashed Master AP's IP address must be reachable by the ICX device through the management interface or through router interfaces. And ICX devices will be automatically discovered by the Unleashed Master AP if the automatic switch approval is enabled, but this can be disabled for manual approval and all ICX switches discovered on the network will be listed in the switches dashboard component. So from the home page of the Unleashed Browser User Interface dashboard, the new component as of 200.8 and above is the switch component here. Switches can be added automatically when plugged in and powered up similar to APs. In order to do that, you would go to Admin and Services, and under the System Information, under switch approval, there is a box here that if that box is ticked, it'll say automatically approve all join requests from switches. If that box is unticked and applied, then when a switch is plugged in and booted up, there will be a pending request that will manually have to be approved. So we're going to go ahead and leave that in the automatic mode. If this box is unticked, once the ICX switch has been discovered, it is listed in the web interface as pending until the administrator approves the join request by entering the switch admin username and password. From the menu to approve a new switch to join, after approval, if the switch is in the factory default state, Unleashed will log into the switch and change the default username and password to the Unleashed admin login name and password and begin managing the switch. So we're going to leave that box ticked so that we have automatic approval. Let's talk about monitoring connected ICX switches. So I'll go back up to my switch menu. And here we see a similar pattern that we see in the APs. There is a summary box. So in this case, there's a total of one ICX switch. If I had three or four switches up here, you would see the total of all three, very similar to what we have with the APs. And then if I go to the individual box, you'll see that that is a breakout just for that ICX switch. So it gives the name of the switch, gives the MAC address, and it gives me some port information. So I can go to show general information, and that'll give me the name, the MAC address, the IP address, model, state, gateway, version number. Now the version number here is important because as we said earlier, it has to be 8.0.90 or above. Obviously we passed the test here. Serial number, last seen and the uptime in this case we've been up for 23 days plus then we have some ports to information here it shows that out of 16 ports that i have three connected i don't have any warnings and the rest of these are available and i don't have any blocked under my poe budget over here this shows out of the total poe budget that i've used 30,000 milliwatts so i've got about 94,000 to go and this would be the example where you would have a PoE device plugged into the switch, so it's receiving power from the switch. So that's what the PoE budget usage is. As I scroll down a little bit, in the center we have a little picture of the switch here. So you can see that we have 12 ports, and then we have module 2 has two ports, and module 3 has two ports. There's a little legend here that if I roll over it, it says that a blue frame means that it's up. Solid blue is it's linked to a Ruckus AP. And the little lightning bolt says that this is a PoE detected port. Red is down and red with the orange would be blocked by the admin. So in this case, we have a lightning bolt on this port. And if I click on that, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it highlights the port down here. And it says that that port is up. I could scroll over. And it gives me more information on the bytes transmitted, the bytes received, the total, the speed, the PoE usage, untagged VLAN, and tagged VLAN, and so forth. 
Notice that this port 5 is highlighted in blue, so that means that is used. So this is not a PoE port, but in this case it shows that we have 6.5 gigabits of data that's been transmitted on that port. So it gives me a little bit of usage on that. Obviously there's no PoE usage on that because it's not a PoE port. And then we have one other port here, that port 11. If it's solid blue, that means there is an, a Ruckus AP connected to that port. And we can scroll over and find out more information on that as well. If I click the little arrow over here, I can do a refresh. If I click on the gear over here, I can change what I want to see. So if I don't want to see all this data, if I want to save some real estate, I could untick some of these boxes. And I could show 10 entries per page or 20 entries per page, whatever I want to put up there. If I scroll down, I'll get a little graph here on traffic trend on the different ports that we have. So this, for example, this is gigabit port 11. Let's go back up to this port 5. We had a little bit more traffic on that one. If I go down here, it shows that my traffic generation on that is about 7 gig. Then I could click on the health, and that'll give me the health of the network. So it gives me my CPU utilization, memory utilization, switch status, the power supply is up and it tells me what the temperature is. So that's just a little indication if this the temperature gets too high, you're going to get a warning on that. And then we have events and alarms. In this case, uh, we only have one event, and that was when the switch joined, and that gives me the date for that under the alarms. I have not generated any alarms, so we're all good on that. But if there were some alarms, then you would see them here. So if I scroll back up, let's take a look at a few other features here. I could add a switch. In this case, if I wanted to pre-add a switch to Unleashed, I would put in the, the IP address and the admin name and the password. Now, this would be the admin name of the switch that you are going to join. Remember we said earlier, if you manually join a switch, when it's pending, you're going to have to log in with the admin name and the password for that switch. So that's where you could put that information in there. If I wanted to edit this switch, so let's say I wanted to give it a name. Let's say this was in building one, floor one. I might want to change and add some additional information on that. I could remove the switch if I clicked on this, and I can go to more. And under more, I could do an upgrade. If I had some upgrade software, I could go ahead and choose that file. I'm going to cancel on that. So we could upgrade the switch's software if we wanted to. Also under more, we have backup. So if I had seven or eight switches out here and I wanted to back up the configurations, maybe I had uh, 50 or 75 APs, I had seven or eight switches, I want to do a backup of the configuration because of certain WLANs and certain configurations that I had on that, I can go ahead and do a backup by clicking on that. And it'll go ahead and download that file. And that'll take a little while. And that'll give me a place to put that file, and I can go ahead and save that file. Now I have a backup. So, for example, if this system crashed, let's say the power went out, uh, I had some kind of natural disaster or whatever, if I needed to restore that configuration, I could click on Restore, and then I would locate the file name and choose the file. And so, for example, that file that I just saved, I could go ahead and choose that file and restore the file. We're not going to do that, so we'll cancel out. So that is a really nice feature to have, especially as your networks get larger. You, make, you want to make sure that you back up these configuration files just in case something happens. And just one other thing I want to point out, under data duration, by default it's set at one hour. I could set that for 12 hours. And then if I scroll down, it'll give me a little graph down here on the traffic trend, the health utilization, memory usage, and so forth for that over a 12-hour period. Another thing I want to talk about is you can reset individual ports. So, for example, if I click on this port, I could hit reset for that port, and it would say the selected port will be reset after you click OK. This will take a few minutes. Do you want to continue? So let's say, for example, if you have a PoE device out here and you want to reboot that device, you can go ahead and click on that port, and then you could say reset that port. It'll reset that port after you click OK, and then after a few minutes, that AP will come back up online. So that's just another feature that you can go through and reset individual ports if you need to do that. We'll click Cancel. And we can also dress up this menu. We could hide ports information if we wanted to shorten the real estate on this. So you can see now we can go Show Ports, Show Health, and Show Events and Alarms. So it's just a little bit of a shortcut, but we'll keep that information out there. So as you can see, monitoring and managing ICX switches with the Unleashed Browser user interface is fairly simple to do and adds a lot of power and functionality to your Unleashed network. Just make sure that you have the correct switch firmware before adding your ICX switches. Music